Hello and welcome to Big Scott 35 Thursday, Nerdy Thursday. Um, I, mean, I think I didn't do one last week or week four. I can't remember. Um, I did get some stuff in the mail this week. Uh, we'll start off with that. Uh, well, we'll start off with what I'm playing right now. Uh, I told you, Return uh, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Um, I was playing this. I don't know exactly how far I'm into the game. I haven't looked to see how far I am or how much is completed or whatever. Um, it is a basically, if you know what a dungeon crawler is, that's what it is. You, you know, you got to learn your path. Uh, you have little um, uh, puzzles to fix to get to the next section sometimes. Plus, kill enemies and have some boss battles. Um, I had to stop. I got so frustrated last week. I'm jumping from wire to wire. There's an electrical thing. Uh, my man is a Jedi, and uh, I can't jump from one to the other. I miss, I overshoot, and you have to go way to the back, uh, way back to start over again. It's probably very easy for a lot of people. For me, this was the most, and more I got aggravated, the worse it got. So I had to stop. <laughs> and I can't, and I, honestly, I've been playing Fortnite as well. Um, that is one of my mindless, uh, self indulgent, just uh, don't mind if I tell people, uh, you know wear out some 12 year olds or let you know they're probably most of them are killing me but i i can hang hang, hang with most of them <laughs> um i do play a new build i think that was a great ad I, I i got to where i can was decent and hold my own with uh normals regular casual players in the builds but uh man those there's kids that play that game religiously that could just throw I, I had some friends that could just build just ridiculous. I, I just sit back and watch, and at that point, I'm dead. Um, so the no build, I, I usually come, I'm probably a top 10 finisher in that. I have a couple of wins this season. Uh, but I usually play a, a little bit of that every once in a while just to kill time. Uh, and that's another thing. It's just a mindless time killer. Um, don't have to get up from my computer. Uh, I have a nice computer to run it on. Um, so maybe and, and they that game is so great at uh, just tie-ins. You know, they have a Star Wars tie-in for May the Fourth and a new game. Um, they have you know uh, they also have a new tie-in with the new Spider-Man movie coming out. Uh, they got. They don't have anything with the Flash, which I'm surprised because they have rights to. They usually do DC and Marvel and Star Wars and everything. So uh, they, they they do have some anime stuff going on. I don't know what the anime is. I couldn't start to tell you with it, um, but they do have good tie-ins and it just makes it fun. Uh, you know, I'll play that for a little while, then I'll step away for it from I probably haven't played in a year when I started playing this time. Uh, when I go back to work, I just won't have as much time either. Uh, but I keep saying, uh, but I've been playing Jedi Survivor. Um, so far, the story is better than the original. Um, the original felt like it was a little forced. So the story on the first one felt forced, like I was saying, and then the second one, I don't know, it's a little free flowing. I was a little disappointed in that all the characters are at the beginning. Um, you meet up with them as the game progresses. Uh, so I wasn't as mad. I, I knew there was a love thing going on with the Jedi and the other one. So I, I was real curious on how they were going to write that. Um, so he looks like he's more of a gray than a light. <laughs> uh, I kind of got that feeling on the first one uh, because he doesn't always, he knows he's got to be more 
do wrong sometimes to do right. Um, so he has that, which is true life. You know, sometimes you get pushed. You got to do some bad to, to to get rid of the to good. And what is what do I mean by that? If you're starving, you know, you got a child starving, are you going to steal a loaf of bread to feed your child if you don't have no money? Um, that type of thing. There's moral dilemmas a little bit. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to go back to it probably tonight. Um, I'll get back on it. Uh, most baseball games are daytime. That's another thing. I, I sit at my computer and watch baseball and play games. Uh, and my PlayStation is not hooked up near my computer. Thinking about how to do that, and uh, so I can stream. I stream one night live. I'll be, be looking out for more of that live streams. Have fun. A couple people jumped on just to chat. We can talk talk anything you want. If people on my sports and everything uh, side, uh, just a way to get on and just have some fun. Um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, got a couple of things came in the mail. Uh, limited run games. I've talked about it before. They, they make, they take games that people you have to download and they'll make, uh, a limited supply of a physical and for purchasing. Uh, this first one is mercenaries blaze dawn of the twin dragons. Now this one. <laughs> I honestly don't remember buying this. I didn't get a card with it. Um, I, 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 have, I haven't looked to see what type. It, you order these games, and it'll take 18 months sometimes to get them because they, you order them, and then they press to the order, like make as many as they needed to the order. And uh, so I guess there's a limited you know, especially with supply chain, you hear that stuff. Uh, so I was surprised. I don't think I have any more on back order with them. I think this is all of them. But it looks like a role-playing game, and I've been trying to get more and more into those a little bit. I'm trying to expand and not just hate uh, just because I don't understand. Uh, take the time to try to learn. Uh, the next is going to be uh, Star Wars Knights 2, The Sith Lords. So I just got the other one. The have the other one as well. This was originally Xbox, I believe. Came out on PlayStation maybe later. I think somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe this was an Xbox original. There was a lot of Star Wars games on Xbox original. Um, OG. Uh, cause they just, I think it could carry, hell, I think it could run a little bit better on some of those RPGs, have more people on the screen than the PlayStation 2 at that time, um, for consoles. Uh, so really, really looking forward. And I never played this actually. Again, another RPG. I just, when I was, I played a lot of sports games and a lot of shooters, and that's where I was at. This one did come with a card. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out because I was hoping most of the time they send a card of something to do with whatever was the picture is. And I was hoping that was going to be it. We wanted the Sith Lords, but they didn't. They sent me, uh, it doesn't even tell me this character's name. I have to learn it. Um, and I was a little disappointed because I was hoping to get a Sith Lord, get it graded, because I get some of these graded. This one was actually a very good. They just throw it in the package. Um, it just, it's a card. Most of the time they throw it in a bubble mailer package with the other ones. You have to pay extra for it to be sent to you with any protection. Um, yeah. I, it's the only thing I don't like about Lunar Run. I mean, you know, you, you wait forever, and then you get... I've gotten some damage cards from them, uh, but there you have it. Uh, so that was what I've got in. I, I really love white playing my uh, Switch. I, I just think, it, you know, it's... Man, it to, to be able to play them there as a console and then take it off and take it 
and play it as a handheld and probably be the best handheld ever made so far. And you don't have to buy multiple games like PS, uh, what PS3 or the PS4 was trying to, what well, PS3 with, uh, with, um, not the Vita, but you had to buy separate ones for that too. So you could save the game onto your, uh, I can't remember the one before the Vita. I have it. I love the like. I have. I love the game. I collect the games for. It. I used to at least. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to that maybe one day. Uh, but you can save it onto your system and take it as long as you had that on, on your game. You can download a game as well, but you had to buy it twice, <laughs> one for each system. And uh, Switch, you know, kind of took care of that. I'm kind of waiting for Xbox to kind of do that. I know they kind of have that with uh, I can play. I haven't. I don't have the newest Xbox, but I can download the app on your on my computer, which anybody can do and play and, and buy the Xbox games on there. Um, you know, I, I use an Xbox controller uh, to play COD on my computer, um, Call of Duty. Uh, so. As, as it was meant to be played. <laughs> Call of Duty is a platforming game. It, or, or it's made, not platform, it's made for consoles. I mean, uh, it was always meant for console with people in the computer world. They, they want it so hard to be a computer game so they can, you know, have e-leagues and tournaments so bad for a computer world. Uh, it, it just doesn't, it, it was in in that realm of consoles, and that's just where it's at now. Um, you know, the, the, most I, you got to have like Apex or these other one, these other shooters now that uh, you know where you can do. What's the other one that they're all that all the kids are playing? The, what's the new term? Zoomers, I guess what they're calling them. I I just caught that the other day. Uh, uh, not it's not Apex. Uh, I I don't know. Whatever. You see, I, I'm getting old. I I, I watch it, and I, I, it's just too much going on for me. You can shoot guns. You have specials. You have all this other stuff. It's just too much. Just I want to pick up a gun and shoot you with it. That's why I like Fortnite. I just want to pick up a gun. I don't buy. I have to pick up pieces to guns. That's the drawback to PUBG. Love PUBG. But when I got to pick up a gun, pick up the silencer, pick up this thing, the stock, I got to pick up, just let me pick up a gun and shoot you with it. That's all I want um, to do. Uh, and that sounds very violent. <laughs> and I'm not a violent person. I've never owned a gun. I uh, never will probably. I, I, not, you don't know. I don't see me owning one, but I do not at the time. I also wanted to bring up. I I did. I told you in the past a couple of movies I wanted to see. I finally saw Black Panther: Wakanda Forever when uh, early on when I was out, um, and I haven't talked about it. Uh, man, love love the uh, the beginning and the different things they did for Chadwick Boseman. Um, I can't help I. They, they instead of putting all the different faces of their Marvel characters, they were all of him at the beginning. Um, they did the they did a funeral for him on there, a uh, Wakanda funeral. Uh, man, I I got teared up. I'm not gonna lie, cause I, I like Chadwick. Uh, I, I thought he was special, special human being. Um, but the movie itself, uh, very slow moving. Um, I just wanted to get to what it was going on. The bad guy in this, uh, was more set up for a water. I, I thought I was going, is this going to be a crossover to DC and, and Aquaman? Um, I, I just, right. So I, it was all right with the actual villain, the bad guy, was not a bad. Was not bad. He was funny, added some texture. I liked their underworld. Um, again, just slow moving. They're 
so in depth and telling the story. It just felt like it was it was too much, too many layers. I got the gist of it very quickly. We probably didn't have to get into all the storytelling. Um, you know, it was, it was cool to see how they were created, uh, how they stay hidden. Uh, but man, it just seemed like it took forever. And I don't know. At the end, they showed all the people back at Wakanda. I was like, oh my, I thought they were all dead the way they, the final, you know, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, the final fight scene and, and uh, when they came and wiped everybody out the first time, I was like, how's there anybody left? Uh, but there were. And, but man, the cinematography for that, whoever, I don't think they won any awards, but man, yeah, that is a beautiful shot movie. CGI is beautiful. Um, it is probably to me the most beautiful, those two movies, both Black Panthers, for uh, everything about it, uh, for Marvel, DC, just how it, it's supposed to be bright, just so. It is good. It's very good. The people that are playing in it, it seems like everybody's beautiful people. It just, it, it's just a very beautiful movie. Uh, I just thought it was too much. It looked like they wanted to stretch it out. They didn't have enough story there um, to get the minutes they wanted. And it looked like they had to have a lot of filler. Uh, you know, the strong, I, I get the strong woman vibe in it. I, I love it. Uh, you know, they set up for a third one with, with, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, a little bit of a, you know, with, with the next Black Panther, uh, maybe um, 10 years from now in the future. Uh, that's interesting to watch. But, you know, I, I, I want to see Black Adam. I, I Another one I feel like I'm not going to enjoy. I didn't hear a lot of good things about it. I haven't heard a lot of things, period, about it. Uh, I, I think that'll catch me up with, like, all of the pretty much superhero stuff. Uh, I know there is some other shows, and uh, Fear the Walking Dead is starting back up for its final season. Very interested in that. Um, things like that. So I know there's some other shows I'm going to catch up with this summer. I think there's a werewolf one on Peacock. Um, I know I wish I had Apple TV. They they got some good TV shows on there. I just can't I can't see almost purchase Netflix again just to, to watch some stuff on there that I've heard. So I've never seen Stranger Things. Uh because I haven't had Netflix. I know I'm one of a few people, but I just figure when I had when I got Disney Plus, I was like, I gotta get rid of something. And so I got rid of Netflix. Because I have I have Peacock, I have P, I have uh, Paramount, I have uh, HBO Plus, which will have I think all the discoveries on that one now. Um, I'm trying to think of everything else. Uh that's about it. I got, you know, the ESPN. So, you know, Disney gives me all the ABC stuff. Piedmont gives me CBS and all their stuff. And Peacock does the rest. So, and CW is actually, if you don't know, CW website is, that's one of the free ones. You have to watch ads on their shows. But CW is actually free. That's, you don't have to pay anything to watch CW. Um just thought I'd throw that out there. I know that's more of a young person's channel, but every I, I, I watch the superhero stuff on there until it gets to uh, uh, where the too lovey dovey because I, I watch the flash and stuff like that. But uh, anybody have any ideas of what I should be watching? Um, any other shows? What you're watching? Um, you know, I'm still reading my, my book. I've tackled some of it. It's really good. I just need to sit down and read it. When I, I tend to sit down and read, I get I'll sit down and read it. I'll read large chunks of it because uh, it is pretty good. 
zombie book uh, because I need to get back into my Star Wars. I was looking at some of my Star Wars books the other day. Uh, but with that being said, just let me know about, down below what you're watching, what I should be watching, any ideas. Uh, let me know if you play video games, what you're playing. Uh, you know, tell me that I'm a fool. I need to get don't get rid of my my toys, but I love them. So until next time, like, share, tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't. You know, this is just something I do every once in a while on Thursdays. And uh, until next time, I'll see you.